Hey guys, it's Ken. Do you guys want to stay in the room all day? Of course you don't. Let's go explore and check out Caribbean Beach Resort. And by explore, I do mean all the things we can see. From here, we're staying in Jamaica. Back to the pool. First thing I noticed was how beautifully landscaped everything is. They did offer us a very nice discounted rate because there's a lot of construction happening right now at Caribbean Beach. And if you're up to speed on some of the new things that are taking place, then you know that this is part of a new Skyway system. And I've seen these in the distance, but standing right next to one really shows you just how gigantic these towers are. I'm wondering about these right here. They're gonna screw those all the way down? I wonder. And over there is a new Disney Vacation Club resort. We'll take a peek at that when we get on the bridge. So Jamaica is only one part you can stay in. They also have Aruba, Martinique, Trinidad North, and Trinidad South. But we're staying in Jamaica. There's a shot of that Disney Vacation Club resort. And that construction really isn't a problem. You really notice it when you get to the pool. Okay, we're heading to the main pool, but each area also has its own pool and beach. There's us, Jamaica. Another one of those towers I mentioned. There's the one we stood next to just now. Walking through this Caribbean K, this awesome little island, you really do feel like you're in the tropics. There's a playground area for kids and these awesome little seating places covered. You can sit and look over the water. And there's the main pool where we're heading. And behind that is all that new construction, which will be very exciting when it's complete. I'll definitely be coming back. Another fun playground. Now to our right is a fire pit. They have evening bonfires. You can bring your families to come and roast marshmallows. What I like about staying in Jamaica is that it's almost a straight shot. Because we're straight back there across. So it makes it much easier. And this has been our view for most of today. We're sitting here in the uh, kids section. There's a pirate ship right here broken half in a giant bucket that fills with water and every few minutes or so it fills up and it dumps all this water down below it's pretty fun to watch and if you are an unsuspecting kid down below it's quite a surprise any moment now there it goes behind this shrubbery behind these walls is much of that new construction I was talking about And that really is the only noisy part of being out here. We had some hammering this morning while sitting by the pool, but other than that, it's not been a problem at all. One more peek. One more peek. You love the pirate theming. I like the cannons that are shooting water down below. I'm not sure why I didn't think about this earlier. Just come up here, you can see a lot of that new construction. I think this is gonna be the new pool bar area and restaurant. And this is the entrance to the slide. You go up the stairs and out you go. Earlier, I was over there where Bridget and Jennifer are under that blue tent. And there's that pirate ship I showed you with that giant bucket of water. If you look at the bucket, it's got XXX on it, which means it's moonshine or maybe pirate's rum. So all those kids are having rum dropped on them. Over this fence is the hot tub. And more of that awesome pirate theming. Including the Jolly Roger. To accommodate the lack of restaurants and bars and while the, all that new stuff is being built, they're doing a very good job, I think, of making people comfortable. This outside sitting, sitting area is pretty cool. We had breakfast this morning in Centertown. It was an all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet. You can order the buffet from here or a la carte items. Breakfast was this morning, now we're into lunch. And if you head inside, they have artist renderings of what 
it will look like after it's being reimagined. This is reimagining Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. The new lobby, the new Center Town Market. Here's what that new Banana Cabana pool bar will look like. I showed you guys that earlier off the pool. And a restaurant. Look at the Hollywood Studios food truck. Superstar catering. So there's the pool. And here's a temporary Banana Cabana pool bar. Including a gift shop. So come out and play. From 9 to 11. Let's go back and see what Donald and Daisy are up to. I think it's some kind of a waddling contest. But don't go too far. Before you know it, Minnie's joined the party. Something I forgot to mention in yesterday's video, we were out at Toy Store Land and they have a bunch of these, I'm not sure what they're called, these kinds of plants planted around. Because in Toy Store Land, the idea is you were shrunk down to the size of a toy. Don't these things look like blades of grass? It's pretty cool. I like that. Looks like a nice place for a sit down. Not a bad way to spend a birthday weekend, eh? I think this is part of a program for kids. Captain Calico's Return. And there's the captain waving. We saw a bunch of kids earlier dressed up as pirates. And uh, obviously some of the recreation leaders. So I think that pirate ship down there might be part of that program. Pretty fun. Yeah, there it is. Islands of the Caribbean Pirate Cruise. Young Buccaneers, ages 4 to 12. There's the campfire I mentioned earlier. You can also do fishing. We just saw some of those games with Donald and Daisy and Minnie. And a sunset festival, Saturday evenings. Cool. And there's our play area we just talked about and saw. There are bees swarming this awesome little bush here. Let's see if I can get some close-ups. They stand still long enough. Here's one right here. There's a bunch down here too. This is the current lobby of the resort in a small gift shop over here. But this will be moved to that new area. And those pictures I showed you guys earlier are also over here. We were in that tent where they serve food and these pictures were on the wall. This will be the new lobby. Certainly looking forward to coming back here and checking this out when it's all complete. Okay, we are now in Trinidad South, where all the rooms are pirate themed. This is also where you can find one of the best places to get a bite to eat, the Spyglass Grill. I showed you guys all that new construction that's going on, but this is a new building, new restaurant, and it's complete, and the food is delicious. We ate here our first night, and we're back for some lunch. I love that they have a vegan option. I've had this twice before. Vegan black bean tacos are wonderful. While we're waiting for our lunch, let's take a walk down here to the water and show you guys the big 
construction going on with the, I guess it's going to be one of the main um, stations for the Skyway system. It's a pretty massive building. And there it is, the station, and a few more of those towers I showed you guys earlier. All right, here's lunch. Vegan black bean tacos with a slaw and some pickled vegetables. Yucca and plantain chips and pico de gallo. Bridget got a trio of beef tacos with fries. You can get the trio with beef, pork, or fish. Or all the same. And because we're in the islands, a couple of red stripes. This is a fun surprise. Check this out. We were having lunch back there, and one of the crew members, that call him here, from the food and beverage team, gave us these pastries as a thank you for dining with them, including a pirate Mickey. Thanks, Spyglass Girl. So now instead of going all the way back to Jamaica, we're going to crash here for a little bit and enjoy the pool here in Trinidad. Want to join us? It's very peaceful, very calm, and very quiet. All right, guys, I think I'll end today's video right here, right now, from this beautiful calm pool here in Trinidad South. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us, showing you guys around this awesome resort. I'm sure we'll be back again sometime in the future. So uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching and tuning in. All that fun stuff. See you guys a little later. Bye.